tell them, like, their methods of micromanaging or any of that stuff. Like, Here. So I'm trying to get my roll cast on. Didn't even look at the flies that I put on. So um, got that. Uh, buy out a merger and some kind of black nymph, I don't know what that's called. Some kind of flashback. I should catch fish if they're in here. This hole's hecka deep, so. Come on, branch. Turn it. Almost hit a kingfisher with my rig. That was scary.
want any more? I fell in. Yeah. No. I just fell in. <laughs> I like that attitude. All right, trying my best to not be cold. Still haven't really warmed up. Jeremy's in the tree. He called that. Did you get out clean? It's fucking rainy. I was not expecting that. Graceful, but it counts. Come on in, you can have a turn. <laughs> Maybe. The cover, the surface is broken and it's deep. Oh, nice fish. That was way better fish. Also on the waltz. You got a 14. I kind of start up in the shallow and let it get deep right there. I won't catch any. Shut up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Don't fall in. <laughs> That's so awesome.
Oh, there's one. There's the bottom. Little one, but it was a fish. trees. Yeah, it is. I don't feel comfortable getting a shot here, so I'm just going to dump him. Yeah, no kidding. I couldn't even get my hand wet, so I just let him go. And then we both caught four or five fish each, and so we have a little more confidence now. And now we can just have a little more fun. It kind of gets stressful when you're sitting there struggling. Play with some different kinds of water to fish. Oh yeah, that was the money one. Right against the trees. Let's go. I lied. <laughs> I did that for your benefit. You're welcome. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will cast into thee. I made it through. Thank you. 
<laughs> Got the biggest tree you ever saw. Hey everybody, thanks for making it this far into the video. The general trout opener has come, so Jared and I wanted to give Clear Creek a try. Uh, a bunch of the water in our areas opened back up, and this one was close to home, so we headed over there. Clear Creek really does live up to its name. The water's cold and it's crystal clear. Uh, it took us half a day to find some fish, and ironically, it was under a bridge close to where we parked. Initially, we hiked back off the road a ways and looking for some holes that I'd found last year, but the blackberry vines were just crazy and they were too thick for us to get through without ripping up our waders. So sadly, we didn't make it up to the best spots I'd found last time. Working closer to the parking areas, we eventually found the fish in swifter water up against structure. Uh, they were taking both my Pat's rubber legs and red darts for the most part. Um, the weather was interesting. It changed a lot throughout the day. It started out sunny, and then midday some puffy rain clouds came through and it rained for 30 minutes or so. So I thought it was interesting too how some of the shots would quickly change from bright to shady in a few moments. but. Luckily, I didn't botch the exposure too much, and it was a beautiful day on that beautiful stream. Now, I'm thinking about taking a pair of hand pruners with me for future trips. Uh, do any of you cut back vegetation that's overgrown on the trail? I'd like to know if I'm the only one who's thought of that. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my fishing equipment or the video gear I use, I have links down to everything in the description. If you'd like to follow along with me in real time, look me up on Instagram. I post up pictures, I've got video clips, fun stuff on my story, so you don't have to wait for me to get these videos edited and posted. And along those lines, I just posted my very first YouTube short video. Uh, you know, it's kind of like TikTok or uh, Instagram Reels, but it's on YouTube. So uh, it was kind of a trailer for this video you see here. Uh, and I don't know how I feel about it. I know they're popular with a lot of people, and I'm curious what you guys think, so let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I try to post a new one every single week, and in the next one, Jer and I go hunting for McLeod Red Bands. Until then, everybody, Godspeed.